Hi, I'm Martin Creek, and I'm part of the Fortnite Battle Royale team over here at Method. And today I want to bring you a video, giving you the details from the mind of a pro about the new Fortnite patch released just a few days ago. Give you the ins and outs if you should be changing your, changing your loadout, and just what really is the go-to gun for getting those kills and wins. The vending machines will have a chance to spawn around the map, always in the same place, just like chest. Each vending machine will spawn with a random rarity, and the price of any available items will match the rarity. Say, white, uh, white items will cost 100, green 200, blue 300, purple 400, and legendary items will cost 500. You will get the option to purchase randomized items, one for each material, one for wood, one for stone, and one for metal. The machine will cycle between the items available, however, if you slam it with a pickaxe, it will instantly change to the next item. I've personally not made up my mind yet on just how good or bad these machines are. If they will keep the game fresh and interesting, or increase the RNG of an already RNG based game. One thing is pretty clear though, materials is the best thing you have going in your inventory, and you don't want to throw it away for some shiny stuff without thinking. I believe that spending your materials on weapon is a no-go, however, utility items such as shields, medkits and launch pads are totally worth it. If you would want to purchase any weapons, it would be a grenade launcher, RPGs, guided missiles. All these items give you a better chance of taking home that victory royale. You may have tried out the shooting test modes, where we got a glimpse at the new shooting system Epic had in mind for us. Now it's live. This is the second huge change in this patch, first shot accuracy. This means that a lot of weapons now have hit scan. Your first hit will be a 100% crosshair accuracy, with a very short cooldown. The weapons affected by this change are all the SMGs, all the pistols and ARs. And yes, you're thinking it, the revolver and hand cannon. You will notice that your crosser is a bit different when standing still. It will sort of zoom in to show you that your 100% accuracy is ready to go. There's also a damage falloff for all the uh, listed weapons. And they all start around 50 meters and ends around 80, with an exception of the AR which ends at 100 meters. There's also a small change to headshots. The headshot multiplier has been reduced to 200% damage from 250. A small yet noticeable change when playing hitscan. Now, just how much of an impact does this have on the game? I think it's going to make the game a bit slower, less pushing and more hiding in the towers ghost peeking. As you can crouch and uncrouch without losing your crosshair indicator, it's likely that people will hide in their base and quickly poke up, fire a shot, then go back into hiding, resetting the accuracy cooldown and repeat. You're now at a bigger risk running in the open, with no bloom effect to save you. Imagine every player sitting with a scoped AR without the zooming going on. Another thing to take into account is how you'll be doing less damage to buildings. Shooting down walls in a distance will now take longer time and deplete your ammo. This is also something that may either slow down the game or encourage close fights. I believe that overall this will change how people play and react to being hit multiple times. Players are already really defensive when they get hit, and this change will most likely have you see a bunch of towers just within the safe zone. The change produces a wider range of skill cap, as good first shot accuracy slash hitscan players can be brutal. I really love the change and already feel way more confident after the patch. Thanks for watching, and let me know your thoughts on the changes in the comments below. What do you want to see changed? Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications to know when we upload. Again, this was Martin Creek. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter under Martin Creek. You'll find the links in the description. Have an awesome day.